What is up, everybody? Good morning from Chester, UK. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of hungry. What time is it? It's about 10 a.m. here. And hmm, craving something from the Philippines. So why don't we make some pork binagongan? Yes, it is possible. I don't think I need to buy anything. I think I do have everything in, in the fridge. I bought from Tesco, so it is possible to make some good uh, Filipino dishes while you're abroad. So yeah, let's go get it. Okay, what's up everybody? We are in the kitchen right now. So we are going to try and cook, uh, I wouldn't say traditional, like, <coughs> it's like my version of pork. And uh, the ingredients that we need will be as follows. Obviously, we need some pork. So the pork I just uh, cut into cubes or rectangles. I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Like an inch and a half, maybe. And then I just boil them in some uh, water, ginger, pepper, and salt, and uh, bay leaves. So basically, just to tenderize the meat, uh, sort of infuse all the flavors of the ginger and the bay leaf and all that in there. Uh, boil it for like 30 minutes, I think. Make it sort of tender. Uh, we do need some aromatics also, some uh, garlic, onion, uh, whole tomato that we will cut, uh, slice, and some uh, pepper or some chilies, I should say. Also need some bagoong, which is sauteed shrimp paste. You can get this in your local like Filipino store in the UK. Uh, also need some black pepper, uh, vinegar of course, and some cooking oil just you know to saute all these all these things. Hot pan just put some oil. Not too much. That was a little bit too much. That's a little care careless of me. But like while that is pretty hot right there okay so hot oil garlic right there just keep them dancing in the oil um this is just a mainly rough cut of garlic because i like you know chunks of garlic when i got into it um then just keep them dancing in there we don't want it burning, we don't want, uh, we don't want some toasted garlic in there. So right thereafter, we will get some of the onions. Well, in this case, actually, I'm using the, the lash. I'm using shallots because it was, it is available in Tesco and it's cheaper than onions. Uh, is it? I'm not really sure, but like, they're smaller. The onions are really large. I don't really use a lot of onion in my dish. So, the, fire, the, the heat is a medium, medium high heat. Uh, the tomatoes, just goes in there. Um, and we will try to saute, I hope you can hear me, we try to saute that for a couple of seconds, or a minute, maybe, until, the tomato is wilted, soft, and just yummy, 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 yummy. I'm not a chef, I'm not a cook even, I just like cooking, I like experimenting with my food, uh, cooking, I like just researching about recipes and how I can uh, do it on my own. Basically, I have limited skills. Yeah, I can see. I don't have uh, a lot of experience with you know cooking. I didn't try, and that's the most, most important thing is that you always try. Don't don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, even if this will become somewhat inedible. After all this, I still eat it because I need to eat. Oh yeah, that's that is. That is, if you can smell it, that's just... Oh yeah. So the tomatoes are somewhat soft already, we don't want it... 
not gonna want it to be too soft and it will get softer. We'll add in the pork that has been sort of uh, boiled or tender. We still want to render some of the fat that's in there. So, mix it around. Put some color into the pork. This again, we've already boiled this for like 30 minutes. Um, and to this, from again, we boiled it with some um, ginger and bay leaf and pepper and salt and all that. So, we want to actually somewhat deglaze the pan with that pork stock that we used. Uh, tenderize the pork a while ago. Flavor of it will just intensify. Hopefully, again, I'm just sort of winging it. There are some of recipes out there on uh, Google and YouTube. You need like specific measurements. Um, Concerned you do so. I mean, again, I like experimenting and and you know just look at at least five or six or seven recipes out there and see what I can do, see what fits me, see what ingredients are there available with me and sort of combine all of those. Just see what happens again. Just try it. You know, don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's okay, it's a food, you'll be alright, you know. While we are waiting for this to somewhat uh, render down, uh, don't forget if you're not subscriber yet, please do hit the subscribe button right below. Um, like the video please hit thumbs up because it really does help me a lot in creating more content uh, and of course share share the love share the video just spread across i mean doesn't have to share man all it brings out love yep yeah so it has somewhat reduced a little bit i reckon it's Good time to put in bug oil and water shrimp paste. Um, again, I don't know like exact measurement of this. I'm just gonna eyeball it to my desired uh, taste, I guess. I am a very salty eater. I know it's not healthy, and I know this is particularly not the healthiest food if you're trying to cut down on your cholesterol and sodium but it is really really I'm telling you really worth to try um, so shrimp paste is in there try to coat all of the pork in that wonderful wonderful shrimp paste I love the salty savory food the bagel shrimp paste is all coated um, next thing to do is actually put in some vinegar and this is just sort of balance out uh, some of the flavors, uh, some of the salty uh, flavors. We are going to put uh, maybe two tablespoons, two and a half, two and a half tablespoons right there. Don't mix it yet, wait for it to actually really boil before mixing it. Okay. Wait for the vinegar to boil before mixing it. I personally don't know why, but I always try to do it if I remember it. So again, we'll try to bring it to a boil and come back a little bit later. Okay, now that it's sort of boiling already, we can actually mix it up a little bit. So, last part. Last part of it is the chili. And uh, mix them in there. Obviously, if you like a little bit more spice, you can put more. But I'm not really a very spicy eater. But I do appreciate a little bit. Kick. It's your, it's your throat. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, other people also um, would put a little bit of sugar uh, to it. I don't know if we need to, we might, we might taste it first. Mm. 
I'd say uh, I might need to put a little bit more of the shrimp paste. I want to put the shrimp paste. It's the question. I don't have a spoon no more. So I'm going to use a bread knife. This, you know, a touch more, I guess. I might think about, oh, that cake. <coughs> that cake already. Maybe a little bit of sugar won't help, or will help. So, we'll try that. So, so a little bit of sugar goes in there. Just a little bit. Maybe that's one teaspoon. Um, yeah, just, just a, a pinch of, of sugar. Uh, and this chili. Okay, so it's time to taste what we cooked a while ago. Again, don't don't be afraid to try new things if you're not really, you know, experiencing anything. Just dive, just dive right in. Okay. Speaking of dive, diving right in, we are going to dive right in here. Some rice and some of that. Uh, oh, some of that really good chili and shrimp paste and pork with some rice. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. You really want to like get one more spoonful of rice with that. Mmm. I'm telling you, man, just don't be afraid to try and experiment. That is really good. <laughs> I'm too proud of myself right now, but I encourage you to try this. Um, don't be afraid. Again, ingredients should be available uh, wherever you are in the world. If you're in the Philippines, if you're in the US, if you're in the UK, if you're in Canada, hopefully uh, you will get to try this and experience. It's very different when you cook it yourself. Packs a lot of flavor, so you'll be eating more rice. I'm telling you, if you're on a diet, probably not the best recipe for you to eat or for you to try. But man, if you love food like me, if you love cooking like me, try this out. It's just, I'm just gonna get one more, like, very big spoonful. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Rice. Mmm. It is amazing. So, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my food bowl. As always, thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you still haven't subscribed yet. Um, share the video. Share the love. It really does help me a whole lot. Try to cook Bina Gongan while in the UK, and you know you can do it too. As always, don't forget to be safe, be kind, be considerate, and man, just be you. Peace.